so that's where I'm headed, just up there. Just tuck myself in on the bank, right in onto the top of the weir, and then hopefully I'll get to see the dippers feeding across the top and maybe some grey wags and whatever else turns up. But uh, yeah, got to get across the river first, up the shaley bank, and set up on a nice little flat bit. Wish me luck. So I'm not really sure if you can actually hear properly because of the noise of the, um, the weir. But um, so currently, now all set up and um, all good to go. I've got the Canon 600 and the 1DX2. Uh, no mic fitted for the, for the audio for, the, um, for any video footage. Um, it's a little bit difficult, it's raining outside. I want to get an external mic connected to this outside. It's, too much hassle so won't do any audio just using camera audio um, but I'm set up here today for, for grey wagtail and for dipper and um, it's a cracking spot uh, to show you where I am so currently this weir here is absolutely superb really for um, for dipper and I've actually seen the dipper on top of the weir quite a few times fishing so and grey wagtails in around the uh, the edges of the uh, of the river. So, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll um, we'll get lucky today with the grey wagon dipper. And hopefully, I'll bring you some great shots. Really, maybe a bit of slow motion stuff as well, um, stills and video. Um, and a bit of blur the water and stuff. Hopefully, get the the bird pretty well in focus if I can. Bearing in mind that wagtails and dippers all do move when they're uh, when they're static. So, um, quite difficult really subjects. But uh, yeah. Only time will tell, fingers crossed. So I've currently got a grey wagtail that's just came in. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a beautiful bird this, absolutely lovely. Often mistaken for the um, yellow wag because of its yellow part on the base, but... Yeah, absolutely lovely. Oh, it's fantastic to watch. This wagtail is just mental. It's just nipping in and out of these quite, quite strong currents, um, flipping up in the air. It's like a flycatcher. It's, uh, it's, it's awesome. So hard to track though. Some fairly nice images there, I think. Um, yeah, lovely. What a great bird, what a lovely bird. Anyway, I just wanted to do a, a massive shout out really to, um, to all my subscribers. I've just, whilst in Exmoor, hit the 2000 subscriber mark, which I'm absolutely over the moon about really. I mean, this time last year in Exmoor, I was on about 70 subscribers. And, uh, you know, for me to, to, you know, hit, you know, 2000 now is, is absolutely, you know, remarkable really. Um, I was thinking this time last year whether it'd be nice if I could hit a thousand, but uh, to hit, you know, double that, man, I'm just so chuffed for you, uh, for you guys really to, for supporting me, liking my work and leaving me some great comments. You know, I really, really do appreciate it. It's just fantastic. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Thanks to you all.
So currently, at the moment, um, just had a dipper fly through, um, right over the top of the weir and then straight downstream. So uh, I'm hoping maybe more on their way. It's been a bit quiet for the last couple of hours now. So, and I've only got another hour to go. So fingers crossed something will happen in the next hour. If not, I'll uh, pack up, head back. We have a dipper, we have a dipper. It's just over to the right there and I can't see it with my camera. I can just see it moving around. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so hoping it comes in, I'm so hoping it comes in. Oh, it's just too far away at the minute. I can just see the top of its head and the, and the focus point can't quite get it because the water's in the way. Come on, Dipper, come on. So I've so far got some, uh, some video of the Grey Wag, but I haven't got any video of the Dipper yet. I've got a couple shots, because uh, the Dipper's obviously came in, but it didn't really hang around very long for the video. But um, I'm not sure whether it's because I'm here, I'm fairly close, I'm pretty, I'm pretty well concealed to be honest, but you know, it might just take a while, could be one that's just roaming and not a resident one, who knows, but uh, yeah, I'm really hoping to get a nice bit of uh, 4K video there um, to be able to show you really, but um, such a striking bird. They always seem to be in their finery, they never, I never seem to see a raggedy old looking dipper, they always seem to look so good. I guess because it's being aquatic, it's got to keep its um, body and its feathers in prime condition to keep that waterproof ability they've got, because obviously they do dive for a, for a fair while in search of uh, food, but... Um So the light levels today are pretty bad. Um, it's very overcast and in a forest. There's still quite a lot of leaf on the canopy of the trees. And um, I am in quite a thick part of the, uh, of the woodland in the heart of Exmoor National Park. So it is quite difficult shooting stills to get a great image, but um, I'm shooting about between 1,250 and 2,500 ISO at the moment, um, and about one and five hundredths of a second at sort of f4, f5.6, so, you know, they're slightly high on the ISO, but uh, the camera's pretty good with that, and as I said plenty of times before, I'll just run that through Topaz and clean that up a little bit, and hopefully the image will be quite nice and crisp and uh, a lot less noise, but uh, really worth checking out Topaz AI, really, really is um, superb, the denoise, and they, they do one for sharpness and all sorts, but it's an absolute game changer. I've had images that I've taken, which I reluctant to get rid of, but kept them because of the noise. Um, and I put them through Topaz, and my God, it's just a new image. It really is. Um, however it works, the artificial intelligence, I don't know, but my God, it's really good. So well worth checking out, and actually not that expensive. But anyway, let's talk in uh, more photography, I think. So I've literally just had the Kingfisher through. Um, Kingfisher's unlikely to stop here at the weir because there's no perch on and the water's too running too fast. But um, 
great to see it go through. Um, just as I was looking, just at the top of the weir, the water level shot past, kind of literally in level with the hide. Uh, fantastic to see, absolutely superb. Well, it's just started raining really, really heavily now. Um, I was going to push on back, um, but I think I'm going to stay another half hour just to see if the rain clears um, rather than walking back in the rain. Um, give it a go another half hour and uh, see if we might get lucky. Just saw an antler sticking up the top, just moving through. Just saw one of its uh, points going across behind a tree. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm here today um, doing, the, doing the dippers because it's quite wet and unfortunately quite overcast and I don't really want to be out in the moors today and all that. Um, but I'm primarily here really for the red deer rut, um, which, you know, I love, I love doing, I love the rut. It's probably my, one of my most favorite times of the year. So I'm really hoping to bring you some, um, some great action there and some great uh, footage. But, um, so I probably will do it in maybe two parts, depending on how I get on and if not just one. Uh, and I've also got, um, uh, I'm doing a review for Tragapan on the, um, one of, the, one of their hides very, very soon, um, the V6, which I'm really looking forward to. I've received it. Um, this is my hide on its last legs, and I didn't really want to set the new Tragapan up today, do a review on it here. It's just not the right environment for it, So, and I haven't got used to setting it up properly. But that's to come as well. So hopefully this vlog on dippers, red deer, and a, and a review on the uh, Tragapan V6. So uh, yeah, just watch this face for, for those to come out. So as many of you know, a lot of time with wildlife photography and especially hide photography is there's a lot of waiting around. Um, but it really is quite nice to be honest that you know you're out enjoying nature, sights and sounds, get to sort of you know think about stuff, you know, process things, you know, just relax, you know, don't have to worry about anything, escape social media. Um, you know, just a nice break for you, really. Just heals the mind, really. I really, you know, do compete, completely feel refreshed when I get back after being out like this. You know, it's, um, even if you don't get results, you know, it's still just fantastic to be out in it. And, uh, you know, if I could, I'd be out in it all the time. But, you know, if I could, but I've got commitments and, uh, you know, but, um, yeah. Just lovely to be here. Just lovely to be here.
So guys, we're just about to uh, wrap up now. Um, it's been great. I've been here like four hours today. Uh, superb. Seen the grey wag, the dipper, and the kingfisher as well. And I obviously saw the deer coming through, the stag. So yeah, fantastic four hours to be honest. You know, it's been really, really good. I'm not sure what the audio is going to be like um, because of the, the noisy weir, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay and you can just about hear me. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, those that subscribe, those that don't, have a go at clicking the old uh, subscribe button at the bottom left-hand side of the screen and obviously click the uh, bell notification to be notified of any future vlogs uh, that I release. But uh, yeah, as always, guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.